Hi everyone, welcome to the colour chart painting tutorial. I am working outside today because of the lovely light and the lovely weather. So I will give you a brief description quickly of what I'm going to be doing. And then the rest will just have music and any notes I shall put up on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to be using Dalo Rowney Georgian paints. Um, I normally use Windsor and Newton and I bought these to teach some of my students so I thought it's a good idea to make charts out of these particular paints because each paint make the colors will come out differently with each chart okay um, you will need whatever colors you you're going to be having so what I normally do is I have um, a warm and a cool of each color so um, the yellows the blues the reds and then I also have um, a burnt sienna, a raw umber, and a burnt umber, and then obviously white. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you exactly the amount that you're going to be mixing in with your initial color. So your main color will be whichever color you're going to be using, plus a little bit of each of those colors. So the majority of paint is going to definitely be the main color with a little bit of the other paint added. You're not going to do half-half, it will be about two-thirds to a third. Obviously, it also depends on the pigment. Uh, you know, so for instance, um, your blue pigment is a much stronger than your yellow pigment. Okay, so without further ado, um, yeah, I'm going to make a start and the rest will be to music. And as I said, there will be notes.
Okay, so there we go. Right at the end, I had an extra space for another color. Um, so of course you can do this with as many colors as you like. You can have another chart with your cadmium yellow and then you can add whatever colors you have handy. So I could make another chart with my cobalt blue and then I have an Indian red, etc. as well. So you can then experiment and have a, have a huge variety of charts. Okay, but here I decided to do the cerulean blue just to see what it would look like and you can see what different green it gives compared to the cyan and the French ultramarine. Alright, well anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, until next time, cheers.